and I feel immensely proud to announce this morning that Andrew Bridgen will be joining the Reclaim Party and standing as its candidate in North West Leicestershire in the 2024 general election. Andrew is a Conservative, an actual Conservative, which is currently a bit of a drawback in today's Conservative Party and government, because being a proper Conservative, like Andrew Bridgen, has huge appeal to the voters of North West Leicestershire who want to see the government deliver on their manifesto promises, honoured, not sold out to Lib Demery. Disillusioned Tories in North West Leicestershire, disappointed Brexit voters who want to see their Leave vote put into practice, they know that Andrew Bridgen, in Andrew Bridgen, they will be electing an MP who will fight for Britain, for her strong borders, an MP who will push back against the madness of identity politics being taught to our young children in school, an MP who is prepared to tell the truth even when it is a huge personal cost to him and his family. Well done, Andrew. I'd vote for you. If they cancel you, you must be doing something right. Those are just few of the positive comments in response to the idea of Andrew standing in 2024 for a claim. We have many battles left to win, and I've sadly reached the conclusion that the necessary changes cannot be achieved from inside the Conservative Party. Our current leadership is misguided and out of touch with the people and their hopes and aspirations. It's almost as if our Parliament is actually working for another master, because it's certainly not serving the people of this country. Parliament also has abdicated its duty to the electorate. It has become a uniparty. Dissent is not tolerated, and there's been no real opposition for quite some time. It is no longer the politics of right and left in this country anymore. It's now the politics of right and wrong. The truth, ladies and gentlemen, is like a lion. I don't need to defend it. It can look after itself. All I ever did was set it free. It's for those reasons that I've decided not to appeal my expulsion from the Conservative Party, in which I would have strong grounds to do so. I believe that tr true change can now only be achieved from outside the party. The government's policies threaten to remove the hard work for improvements in living standards uh, we've achieved in North West Leicestershire over the last 13 years, and indeed the rest of the country. And they are bringing forward policies that actually threaten my constituents' personal and social freedoms. The main parties only really have one policy, and that's power. To seize power, to defend power, and to prevent others from having power. Only when we threaten their grip from having power will they change their policies in an attempt to maintain their power. We've seen this played out um, over Brexit. A decade ago, there were just a handful of backbenchers who thought we should leave the European Union. It was whispered in the corridors of power, but never taken seriously. And what was clear is that the leadership of all the parties were in lockstep, that we should remain. What was proven at the referendum was that the people had another view. They wanted to leave the European Union. And power, like sovereignty, really only belongs to the people. But today I'm announcing that I'll be standing at the next general election, but not as a Conservative candidate, but as a member of the Reclaim Party. I will go from this place to Parliament, where I'll cross the floor and sit as the first ever Reclaim MP. I say first because, believe me, I will not be the last. This is just the beginning, and the people will have a voice in Parliament again. In the Conservative Party, I was a prisoner, but now I've reclaimed my freedom. <laughs> freedom to think, freedom to speak, to represent the great people of this nation. Now we need to reclaim our democracy. Thank you very much for listening to me.